The scaphoid bone, uh, to scan this, then you could use also ultrasound to detect, for example, fractures, which can, can be missed with uh, X-ray imaging. So to scan, we can have a dorsal approach or maybe also a palmar approach. So I'm going to show you both. And for both approaches, it's really important that the patient makes a ulnar deviation uh, because only then you can see the full scaphoid bone. Uh, but before we do this ulnar deviation, I will first start in neutral position so that you can see the difference. So I'm going to place the uh, transducer over the scaphoid so we can see the radial bone right here. And here we can see the uh, scaphoid. Um, so to see more of uh, the scaphoid, the patient will um, uh, ulnar deviate uh, the, uh, the wrist and now you can see much more of the bone which usually would be uh, hidden. Um, and this allows us a perspective on the uh, bone quality and whether there are fractures in the scaphoid bone. So we know that uh, most uh, fractures occur in the, the waist of the scaphoid because the trabecular system there is the weakest uh, and that uh, trouble with the union might arise if fracture is in the middle, in, in the waist or in the proximal side of the scaphoid. So it's especially important to screen this region right there for any cortical irregularities and any step of deformities. So we're going to scan, of course, not only in one spot, but ultrasound is uh, dynamic. So uh, the sonographer slides with the transducer from medial to lateral in its dorsal aspect. But then after having done so, we will uh, turn the patient's hand uh, and then assessing the um, uh, palmar or the volar aspect of the uh, scaphoid uh, bone. So now the scaphoid bone can be seen uh, right here. Um, so it has a little bit of a peanut shape, so that is how they call it in the, in the literature. And uh, also now, if the patient makes a ulnar deviation, suddenly we can see uh, much more of this, uh, this peanut, uh, this uh, scaphoid bone. So we're going to observe uh, every part of the scaphoid right here, going down, this convexity, concavity right there, this convexity right here, and searching for step of deformities and any cortical irregularities. Always make sure to slide with the transducer from medial to lateral to see more of the cortical uh, surface.